Hi guys and welcome to another video by myself, Bateson87. This one's a little bit of a different one. It's somewhere where I get very excited over potential transfers happening in January or even summer. Now because of my internet issues recently, mainly because of the flooding in Cumbria, you guys may have seen it on the news and stuff. The internet's been knocked out, power's been knocked out and now and then I do get it back periodically. So I'm struggling to bring gameplay videos to you but thankfully I do have a lot stacked up and therefore you are going to see a lot of Road to Glories and a few other squad builders and things like that. So you support on the channel the past couple of weeks and uh, well continuing throughout since I started it's been awesome so thank you very much for that guys if you're trying to have a 5,000 likes that'd be awesome subscribe if you're not and obviously if you do want MSP PSN codes go and check out g2a.com so with this said, guys, we're going to be uh, covering some transfer rumours, which has been happening in the past couple of days. None of the old ones, some of the new ones. And every now and then, I will be coming back to this, just because not only is it nice to see some players which is linked with your team, I, I'm a Liverpool fan, you guys may have Manchester, Manchester City, Manchester United, Chelsea, Arsenal fans and stuff, so it's nice to see what potential cards can come to one team. Two love, loves of my life, Ultimate Team, and also, fee, um, also football as well. So it's good to see them. So we're going to be going through... Some of the uh, rumoured transfer players which could be happening come January. Some of them realistic, some of them not so realistic. But hopefully you guys enjoy it and leave a like rating if you do. And feel free to leave some comments down below some more rumours you have seen about. So the first one we're going to go with today, guys, is Lamine Kone from... Um, Moving from Liga Earn, I think it is. I uh, can't remember the team he's going to go from. Uh, but moving to Sunderland, which is an interesting silver one, 60 pace. We do need these silver players in Ultimate Team, for sure. Silver BPL players, anyway. Looks all right and potential to get a bit better as well. Um, actually, being at the age of 26, he's in his, uh, he's in his prime time in being a defender. But we'll have to wait and see on that one whether it does come true and feel free to leave comments down below of which ones you think are complete bullshit and just speculation by the media so next one guys is Gaetan linked from uh, Benfica moving to Atletico Madrid um, Atletico Madrid are meant to be keeping tabs on this guy to see if potentially he could move into the uh, La Liga good player anyway um, in real life a lot of people have been talking about him getting a January upgrade as well um, I don't really follow the um, Portuguese league I think skills maybe follows it a lot more than myself uh, as soon as all his teams are uh, heavily involved in there. Next one. This one's a weird one. And there's a few actually weird players linked with Barcelona. Um, who's the guy from the MLS? There's a guy at the MLS, and I can't remember the guy's name. Fuck. Giovinco. Giovinco's linked to Barcelona, but he has come out and said... Why would I go to G uh, Why would I go back to Barcelona? Since on the front three are absolutely ridiculous, and he won't get a look in, which is true. And it'd be the same if Can Drever did actually go to Barcelona. I can't see him unless he's going to move into a central position. Which I can't see it anyway. Uh, replacing Messi, Suarez and Neymar. So I think this one's compl complete bullshit. But the card would be a nice look anyway come Ultimate Team. Now Galatasaray are actually linked quite a few times in this video. The first striker they are linked with is Papi Cissé from Newcastle United. Was Did feature in the game on Sunday against Liverpool as well. Did alright, didn't do the best, but um, a lot of people reckon it could go to his best if he goes to join Galatasaray. That being interesting, foot related, not so much because it's a non rare gold. Um, but you Galatasaray fans and Newcastle fans, let me know if there's truth in that, whether Pavis is looking to uh, leave the exit of Newcastle, um, but there's another potential one there. Next one we have is Adrian Rabiot. Now, he is uh, a PSG player currently. There is Blanc has uh, come out in... Um, in a press conference and said that he's getting annoyed at all the speculation of Rabiot and if he signs a five-year deal for PSG, he should uh, obviously see out that five-year deal. But he's heavily linked with two North London clubs. The first one being Tottenham, but he is also heavily linked with Arsenal as well. You Arsenal and Tottenham fans, would you love to see Rabiot in your team? Been doing all right for uh, PSG from what I've seen as well and uh, it would be a nice one, but obviously he doesn't get a look in with the likes of Verratti, Pastore, Di Maria, Matuidi, etc. Um, don't really get a look in into the team because it is a, a solid midfield that PSG have got currently the next one and this one I think is complete bullshit why the f and I don't know why is it CDM apologies guys it is at CDM because I'm moving around on a thing um, but we have Diego Costa potentially leaving Chelsea to move to Turkey which would be a big money move for the out of favour striker um, at Chelsea now he's not been scoring loads but when Costa is good Costa is good you guys have seen that um, in previous last season and, and uh not so much this season, mainly because Chelsea are struggling heavily. And you will see a few players linked with Chelsea in this uh, video to hopefully 
try and pull them back into the uh, higher positions in table, which that type of uh, squad should be doing. So next one we have Icardi, linked with Arsenal quite heavily as well. Looks all right, plays all right for Inter, um, and obviously a lot of people are looking to uh, replace injury, injured players at Arsenal because obviously that can cost them the season, and uh, a lot of injured players going out, and obviously when you've got the main striker of Giroud, um, yeah, you're looking for a replacement. And Icardi would be a nice one, but whether he would leave Inter is another question added. Arsenal fans, let me know what you think of this one and whether you think it's potentially true. The next one is Jack Butland. Now, this Butland's actually come out and said he does not mind... Um, Playing at uh, Stoke City, but obviously uh, when a big club, and I, I am saying big club, but I know a lot of people are going to slate that, but a bigger club than Stoke, maybe potentially Liverpool or anyone else, would come calling for Jack Butland. Obviously, he got an answer. Now, Jack Butland is actually outperforming Joe Hart currently in the statistics for the BPL. He's a good goalkeeper, expected January upgrade as well, but I can't see him leaving in the January transfer window. I think he'll give him till the end of the season, and then he may potentially decide to leave from, um, from Stoke. The next one is Xabi Alonso, been heavily linked actually since the signing of Klopp, but also while we had um, Brendan Rodgers in charge as well. Alonso is obviously still in favour at Bayern Munich, still performing very well as well, um, but obviously every Liverpool fan, including myself, would love to see him make a return. He's still got the ability to play in the Premier League, he's playing... Um, quite a lot in the Bundesliga, but I don't really watch Bayern Munich, but you guys, if you are Bayern fans, feel free um, to let me know about that one. The next one is Alex Texera, and this is the start of the link-ups with Chelsea. Chelsea keep an eye on three players, the first one being Texera, who obviously will be a nice one uh, for the perfect link to Oscar, Ramirez, etc, etc, and also William, if you wanted to get him into the uh, into the team. The next one is uh, Berenio, uh, yep, that guy's name I cannot say properly, but he had a massive spat um, just before the end of the last tran uh, transfer window, and said he would never play for West Brom again. Whether um, Chelsea are looking, I don't know what Chelsea are doing looking at him. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go for that type of player just because of seeing his previous actions when it comes to wanting to leave the club. And the next one is obviously Jamie Vardy. This guy is going absolutely ham for Leicester City. Um, obviously his streaks ended now because he didn't score in the last game. Uh, but Vardy is a very consistent goal scorer even against the bigger clubs. And uh, if he doesn't sign for anyone in January, he's going to be a big money move come summer next year. Also. If he did sign in January, potentially you could get a silver card of him, and then he would be boosted up to, I reckon, at least a, at least a 76-rated goal player. The next one is Lewandowski. Now, this one, being a Liverpool fan, don't want to hear it because Klopp's were bringing him to Liverpool. But obviously, uh, when Real Madrid, the best, um, well, one of the best teams in the world, come calling, Lewandowski will be a perfect replacement for Benzema if he was looking to make that exit as well. Not sure if Benzema's still looking to exit, but obviously, um, I think it's 14 games, 14 goals for Lewandowski, will be a six signing for Real Madrid as well. And in foot terms, that strong link with Krajciak will be absolutely brilliant. The next one we have is Antoine Griezmann. He was the number one target for Chelsea um, to kickstart their season. Griezmann... One player won't kickstart a season. Something needs to change at City, uh, sorry Chelsea. And you guys, obviously, if you've got uh, opinions on that, feel free to leave comments down below. Then we've got ten more players. We've got Lucas, who's linked with a big money move to Manchester United. Um, it would be a nice card. I don't know the team. Not gonna lie to you, but obviously, being a Liverpool fan, um, I wouldn't want to see that. Wouldn't want to see uh, Manchester United get another good uh, Brazilian player. But I don't think that one's realistic because he seems to be doing all right um, at PSG currently, and uh, no idea why that one come to light. But it. Has has. The next one is Eden Hazard, heavily linked with um, Real Madrid as well. A lot of big money big money is going to be paid towards that uh, Chelsea's direction if Eden Hazard was going to take the exit and join Real Madrid. It's an interesting feat as well. A lot of people saying Eden Hazard is a, is a ghost of a player that he was last season, but obviously Chelsea were a ghost of, the, of what they were last season. A lot of Chelsea players are linked on the way out. Diego Costa, Eden Hazard and a few others, but a lot are linked back in. We have Nelito. Now, apparently Nelito's had an inquiry put in from, from Arsenal. Would be a nice signing for the Gunners. Um, obviously, with the uh, injuries to Sanchez, he would be a direct replacement and a very good consistent one at that as well we also have Ruben Neves this Arsenal have actually uh, scouted this guy three times um, gone to watch him three times and are heavily linked with Ruben Neves he's uh, touted as a wonder kid um, out in the uh, Portuguese league and he's only uh, well he's born 1997 so go figure that out for yourself he will, he will be 19 18 
Yeah, 19 or 18, I think he will be. Um, but he's going to be in the, ne the next decent uh, wonder kid as well. So it would be a nice one to see in the Premier League. Obviously, whether he would become a starter for Arsenal, that would be uh, yet to be shown. Then we have Alexandro, linked with Manchester City in the left-back position as well. Moving, He's only just recently moved to Juventus, so I'm unsure why um, he's linked with uh, a, a money move to Manchester City already. Uh, potentially, I don't know. I don't know why would Man City, why would, sorry, why would Juventus want to get rid of someone they've only freshly signed and not even been with them six months? The next one is Subotic. He's apparently looking for his way out of Dortmund. Linked heavily with Klopp anyway. A good relationship with Klopp. And if Klopp brought him to Liverpool, that would start the repair to the defensive problems which Liverpool still do have. We have Gundogan linked with uh, Juventus as well. Perfect link to Kadir if you guys do uh, like to Kadir. And it will be a decent um, move for Gundogan. But I don't know why he's wanting to leave Dortmund. It might just be speculation bullshit, which is probably what half this video is. Um, and just made up transfers. The next one is Ashley Cole looking for a return back to the Premier League. And this time with Aston Villa. Now, if you look at uh, Ashley Cole's career, it's been big money, it's been uh, high profile, and maybe a move to Aston Villa wouldn't be the biggest move of his career, but it'd be one to get him game time, and I would like to see him back in the Premier League. And the final player of today, guys, is Diego Lopez, who was heavily linked with Liverpool and Klopp wanting to replace Mingley um, before the game yesterday, actually, uh, before the game against Newcastle. And he would be a direct replacement for, for Mignolet. As a lot of people don't seem to like him, even though statistically he's got the more, most shutouts in the Premier League coming into this season. I, I'm not a fan of him, to honestly. He makes stupid decisions. Um, but Diego Lopez looking to be linked. That's two goalkeepers Liverpool linked with. And if you look at him in the full team, you can see the players there. So we've got likes of Griezmann, um, Lewandowski, Costa, Nelito. And let me know, guys, which ones you think are more realistic targets. I think maybe the Kone one's more realistic. Uh, potentially the Rabiot one as well. But whether it's, new, uh, whether it's Arsenal or Tottenham, we will yet to know. I think that one's complete bullshit uh, with Diego Costa and obviously Arsenal linked with every striker in the world anyway. So, if you have enjoyed this little rundown video of transfers, leave a like rating, guys. If you want me to cover it again, feel free to in every couple of days we'll go back and have a look at the new, fresh new transfers. I've enjoyed doing it actually. It's been fun and some of these cards, if they ever come to fruition, will be absolutely sick in Ultimate Team. As, as I said, guys, two loves um, in the uh, football and obviously gaming is FIFA and obviously football itself. So some of these transfers are big uh, for all the clubs involved. So guys, leave a like, and subscribe if you're not. We'll be back another day, another video for you guys to enjoy.